Hi guys, it's Christina Blackfeather here, and um, you get to just look at my face here. Maybe we'll have kittens appear, maybe not. Um, I've been in a little bit of a not so great spot emotionally, so I haven't been streaming, and so hopefully this week I'm going to try and do another art stream, but not tonight. So. I thought what we would cover tonight, since I'm in kind of one of these moods, <laughs> uh, finally decided to address Freely the Banana Girl addressing Amberlynn. Yeah. And now this is not to bully. This is it's still under fair use. Um, you know, I'm just reacting and putting out my thoughts of what I you know what I feel is going on here and you guys don't get to look at Freely's face because well I still can't as soon as I get one window to start working on OBS then something else stops working and usually it's the sound so I have to right now on my backup computer the old one choose between sound and video so you get to see my mug and Freely's voice so we're going to turn this up a little bit, and we're just going to play, and I get to look at the videos of the uh, animal torture and stuff for you guys. So it's a thing. Maybe we need, we need something just to make this happier. Here we go. We need a pony. There. Got to have a pony. All right. Life will be better with Pony. And yeah, my camera hates me too. It's not in a good spot. Can't fix that either. It happened one of those days. I'm glad you guys are joining me for one of those days. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I haven't watched this yet. What is that? This is what is left over of the plate. I did not like that in any way. You Okay. To set up, our girl was at uh, a buffet and had a variety of, it looks like it was an Asian buffet, so. Pony, pony that way. There we go, there's a pony. Have to stop identifying as fat. Now this is the very beginning of, of Freely's video and what else is Amber supposed to identify as? beef. I just got it for the vegetables. Is she going to waste even more now? Like, <laughs> beef. Yes. I just got it for the vegetables. Is she going to waste even more now? Like, <laughs> So this is what is left over of the plate. I did not like that in any way. It was, it was just not good. Well, like, if you, if you don't think you're going to like something, then just take a little tiny bit. Not a whole, like, fucking, like, quarter of a plate. Like, this is so wasteful. This was an animal. This is what I wanted to address. You're missing the point, Freely. You're so missing the point here. She is not to the point where she can care about anything else but her stomach. And it does not matter if it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. Um, you're trying to preach to somebody who is not going, well, of course I'm trying to preach to you, somebody who is not going to listen at all. And especially about your agenda here. It, that's not the point of this. You need to get it through your head. This was a living being that had a family, that had feelings, that had a life. I, that's why I didn't get past this point on this video because she has so missed the entire point of, of what's going on with Amber. You can't just preach veganism at somebody when there's a whole heck of a lot more going on than are they eating animals. Don't be so disconnected from what you are consuming and what you're just leaving on your plate. Like it's like it just, it blows. She needs to leave stuff on her plate. 
She needs to not put it there in the first place, but she needs to leave stuff on her plate. She is disconnected with her food, big time. But this isn't the issue here. It's not animals. Lose my mind how wasteful this is. I don't really like. Thank you. We all say that. But it's not about waste at this point. It is about she shouldn't be having this in the first place. Yeah, but like the vegetables, I didn't even like that. And like the flavoring for my rice, it was just bad. So I put soy sauce on. Just get sauce. Just get sauce. Don't get the animal. You know, like exactly. She has sauce right there. Exactly. See, she doesn't even like Chinese beef. Exactly. So don't get it. Just get sauce and just get rice. There, That's finally the you said something. It's not rocket science. It is so, so easy. God. Okay, and you guys can't see it, but she says go to a vegan-friendly buffet. That's not the point here. How much disconnect do you have to have freely? The point isn't that it's a vegan buffet. She's not going to eat that either. The point is she's taking in way too many calories and... Having just rice and fruit and stuff is not going to do it for her. This gal is eating way too much and not moving around. Where freely, clearly, you move around and do stuff. I mean, your diet's crap on top of it, but, you know, at least you're moving. This girl is not. She went and dumped a, a cart by her car in the middle of the stupid parking lot, one of those, uh, there's photos of it, one of those um, uh, mobility scooters, dumped it in the parking lot, left it by the car for somebody else to have to come and get if they need it. Or have the thing get ruined or whatever. This is the level of caring this girl has. So preaching at her about veganism at this point is really stupid. And I'm sorry, it is. And especially your raw, let's have sugar all over everything. The girl's more than likely already got diabetes that she's not telling us, and you want to give her more sugar. Rice instead. So now I got some butter pecan ice cream. So this is some solidified bovine secretion. Oh, I'm going to behave myself. Mm. Yummy. Like one of my favorite ice creams on my soup rice? Yeah. Solidified bovine secretions are good. Peterson or Shane Dawson, like super excited. I think she's been watching them. Is that her brother? She's a French friend. Oh. I, I honestly did think that was a guy. So I apologize. It's actually a female. I thought that was going to be a catch up. This must be an old I Destiny know. video. I, like this, so that's all I, of it. I don't like this. This is all I ate of it. Um, yeah, I. This must be Freely's very first reaction to this, and I wish you guys could see it, but it's just a bowl of butter pecan ice cream. And, of course, Freely's going to have a fit about it being ice cream, you know, because, well, it's solidified bovine secretions. Um, but um, she has a point. It, it, she's missing the point, but she has the point. Amber could have gotten s sample sizes of these things or a couple spoonfuls, tried it, decided if she liked it, and that would be fine. There'd be less food waste. Freely takes it one step further and goes on the whole animal thing, which is this is the brainwashing that Freely has done to herself. The woman's out in the middle of somewhere, um, isolates herself from the rest of humanity, and remains clueless. I mean, this is just a thing. She Her arrogance level is just as bad as ALR and um, she thinks she's better than everybody else because of her diet she's crapped on her friends she's crapped on people left right and sideways and so she can't get past that connect disconnect in her brain that not everything is about freely and not everything is about the animals there again there are bigger issues here much bigger issues 
than is she eating ice cream because it's based off of animals. She'd still be taking in the wrong calories and taking in too many calories if she had a coconut based ice cream or something else. It's not going to matter. This is an eating issue. This is a calorie issue. This is not an animal issue. You ate a whole bunch of it and now you're just wasting the mother cow's milk and educate yourself on what happens to the mother cow. Here we she go gets with the, the animal screen again. From her so you can eat this crap when all along you can just all right do we have anything else here because this is just annoying so you become part pig you become part chicken you become part cow and that is disgusting for a human to be like that because no that's not how it works we do not absorb their tissue in intact it's not like we're taking their entire cells and letting those cells multiply inside our bloodstream and we suddenly grow horns and a tail. Or we're growing little split hooves and a curly tail and going oink oink. That's not how it works. These components of the food we ingest, whether it is plant or whether it is meat, we break them down into the basic components. They're not broken down into cells. They are broken into components of cells. Proteins, amino acids, uh, minerals, vitamins, fluid, all of that. And that is what is passed from the gut to the bloodstream. It is not uh, an entire muscle cell of a cow. You are so grossly misinformed and for the fact that you claim you have training in nutrition and you clearly do not have any training in anatomy and physiology because you have no understanding of how um, overdoing uh, sugar load in the bloodstream works um, and you have no understanding of the digestive system or of uh, chemistry is just mind blowing. So the problem here, besides the fact that, okay, like everybody else, you've jumped on the Amber Lynn train, which we get, and you just brought more money to this girl, um, it, trying to bring more money to yourself. I get that too. You're probably hurting because some, I like your ASMR videos where you're out in the, in the middle of the jungle. It's kind of a nice little vaca mental vacation for me but not everybody's into that. And this type of stuff that you do freely with reacting is the one part that brings you more and more money. We get that. But you're just not doing what, you have no knowledge in the first place. So all you're doing is trying to promote your agenda on this girl and she's too far gone which is making you look really stupid because you are missing the point so much. Let's have kitten, that's much healthier. There we go, we switch from pony to kitten. Humans are meant to be humans. We're not meant to have the fat of an animal hanging around us as we walk along. We are animals. By definition, by biological definition, we are animals. And so, yeah, if you're fat, animal fat is hanging around with you all day long. Or like this one. It's a blue one. Okay, so show what you got. So what I got is that chocolate hazelnut is in here, cake batter, graham cracker crumbs, yeast, and some brownie bites. Seriously, like just. Go for like soy ice cream, man. You just get. That's not the point. The point is that she's eating too much. And in this video, she was like probably 400 pounds. She's gained since. You should be looking at what she's been doing lately. You know? I mean, yikes. Dude, freely. Soy ice cream. So she's going for the carbs. Everybody likes ice cream because of the sugar. Like. You know, she she needs carbohydrates, but she's just going for fat. She's going for animal protein and animal fat. 
it would still be a problem if she was going for vegan fat. As soon as you have something that is boiled in fat, you're adding fat to it, which is what she does not need. It doesn't matter if it's vegetable based or not. Oh. Yeah. So if you guys were curious what those were, yes. when we were at Destiny's Grandma's house, she had these like small little cheeseburgers, and they're, I'm talking like, teeny tiny little things. They were not teeny tiny little things, but anyway. And I ended up having the two on the plate, and then I ended up having two more. I didn't have any bread with it or anything, they were very, very tiny. Okay, so they weren't very, very tiny, so we can just like cut that out. But the whole fact is, I want you to focus on the fact that she said, I didn't have any bread with it, didn't have any buns. So she's in this mindset of, I've got to cut the carbs, I've got to cut the bread. No. Yes, she does. According to um, bariatric doctors, yeah, she does, because that's extra calories she does not need right now. Expert freely. The bread is not giving you fat, okay? The bread is not contributing to your fat stores. It is not the problem. The you're right, it's not the problem. The calories are the problem. Animal fat and protein with the dairy, with the animals. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I... Wow. I thought I was going to be able to go uh, and have a little more patience with this. Um, it's not about the animals. I don't know how many times we have to say this. The girl is past that point. Is what is causing the problem. So don't even... The white bean... I don't know which is which, but that's okay. Let's try it anyway. I don't know what video this is. Mm. I've never seen this one that she's watching, but Amber's Ooh. eating a veggie mm. burger, I think. I'm so sorry. She loves it. Okay, she loves it. Like, what is her problem? She loves food. She loves to eat. That's the problem. Yeah, she's going to love it. She's putting it in her mouth. With just going for vegan foods. Just seriously, if she changed from eating all the animal products that she is and just went to vegan burgers, vegan pasta, all vegan, you know, junky foods. If she did that, she would lose a ton of weight, and then she could... No, no, she would not. Veganism is not necessarily that somebody is going to lose weight. There are fat vegans. There are people who have gained weight being vegan. That is not the magic cure-all for everything, and that's the thing that I really, really despise about this, is the thinking that veganism is going to fix everything. No, it's not. And especially when you have somebody that is super morbidly obese, that vegan is not the issue. It is not the problem. And Freely hasn't looked enough, of course. You know, there's mental health issues and things like that going on here. I mean, obviously, the girl's 600 pounds. But um, it's, uh, it's... Um, more than just the fats. It's any type of fats that she'd be taking in. And carbohydrates are not her friend right now. And she needs to go on a bariatric diet and stick to it and she would lose weight. Or go on a diabetic diet and she would lose weight there too. Because they control the carbs. That is where she has to be right now. Not shove a ton of carbs in. And she needs to be going to her doctor and actually listening to her doctor and following with a plan, and she does not. So freely preaching at her isn't going to do any good, any more than me preaching at you, I guess. Progress to even healthier and healthier. So, Amber, that's what I suggest. She doesn't have time to progress. The girl is going to be bed-bound by probably summer of next year, if she's lucky, or she's going to have a fatal event. She does not have time to progress. She needs a doctor, and freely, you are not a doctor. And I noticed here in the start, she said something about the buns. I usually eat um, my veggie burgers without buns. 
Okay, so she's got this whole like carb restriction mentality and that is what is keeping her huge. No, it's not what's keeping her huge. No. I'm sorry, I'm not being nice, but how dumb are you? Okay, and that's why you are still huge because you have this mentality, I've got to avoid the carbohydrates. And she's probably scared of fruit. No, the problem is she eats too much and she doesn't do any activity. There goes Kitten. Uh, yeah, so this is just more of the same. Um, now there's one with eggs and oranges and bread and it, yeah, there's just more of the same stuff. Uh, it's, it's freely, you know, what do you do? Um, she, she's off on her own high horse and this was just another thing for her to be able to preach at somebody and that's all that Freely cares about is preaching and is she's she's so far gone too I mean she really is gone I, there's nothing more that I really can say about that so I'm glad we did have kitten visit and sorry about the camera quaking but I wanted to make sure we had kitten visit <laughs> Which was really, really cute. That was Ishchel for anybody who uh, doesn't know. And we have lots of kitten videos too. <laughs> so hopefully you guys gleaned something from this. Um, I will link to the original video and do all that stuff. But yeah, there it is. So blessed be everybody. Have a great night.